okay so uh excuse my lighting i'm just using natural daylight from my window right now i just got home from work it's like five o'clock and i wanted to make this video i didn't really want to fuss with all my lighting and everything though so today we are going to be opening a mystery package i know you guys have probably seen or heard this trend going around on youtube where people will buy these mystery boxes off of sellers on ebay or just other places online and they don't know at all what is inside of them they just spend the money on them and then they open them on camera and some people have opened things like total garbage i just watched graveyard girls video where she opened like a designer handbag but it was used and everything in there was just makeup samples and i don't want to spoil too much of it but you should go watch her video because so many people are getting scammed by this so i got on ebay and i found a mystery box i'm gonna be a little bit of a complainer this isn't a box this is a package. This is a an envelope bag. It's not even a bubble mailer. It's just a little mailer bag thing. So it's it's not a box, but that isn't really a huge issue. These cost less to ship than a box would, obviously. And I only paid $10 for this. I didn't want to spend $100 on a box of things that I didn't even know what the heck they are. So I went the cheapskate route and I got on eBay and found one that was $10. So I'm gonna, before I get into it, I'm gonna open up the description and read it to you guys so that uh, you can see what I read before I made the purchase. It says, you will receive at least four to eight items. The total value of all items will add up to at least $10. Sorry, Rebel just shook. You probably heard his collar. All items are either new, vintage, or perfect condition. I don't mind vintage items as long as they're not like severely stained or like ripped in half or things like that so that was intriguing to me that there were maybe some vintage items in here hoping that I could get something from like my little pony or something I'm not 100% sure we'll see it says you will not receive any garbage or junk so hopefully I will not open up a bag of trash. Oh, it says right here, message me your age, favorite color, and if you are male or female. That is new, that was not there when I ordered this. Uh, otherwise I would have said, hey, uh, this is my favorite color. So I may get stuff that is meant to be for boys. We'll see, I'm not sure. I did send them a message saying that I was going to unbox this on my channel though. And I did link my channel, so if they saw the message, then they probably checked my channel and realized that my favorite color is pink, obviously, and I'm female, so hmm, we'll see. Here's what may be inside. Crystals, jewelry, craft supplies, stickers, pins, patches, vintage toys or games, and more. So I'm really hoping I get a vintage toy or game of some sort. Uh, but yeah, I guess without further ado, let's open this and see if I got scammed. I don't mind like Dollar Tree stuff. You guys know I've done Dollar Tree hauls on my channel many times before. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you want me to do another one. I haven't done one in like so long it feels like. And it's just that I haven't gone to the Dollar Tree. It's not that I hate doing it anymore. It's just that I haven't gone lately. So I haven't been able to. But let me know. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more. So here is the inside. There is some, some paper in here. Okay. It says <clears throat> Pop Killer Little Tokyo. Okay. There's that sticker on there. It's got a little tiger. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, in this bubble wrap, it looks like some glasses. I have like a thousand pair of glasses. Oh my gosh, these are like, oh, these are actually pretty neat. Oh my gosh, these are like those holes glasses, huh? Oh my gosh, these are trippy. It's like a kaleidoscope. Can you guys, okay, I'm gonna try and hold this up to the lens. I want you guys to try and see. Can you, hold on, let's let's do this properly here. Like, look, this is what you see when you look through them. <laughs> oh, so trippy. Oh, I don't know if I could wear those like on a day-to-day -day basis to the grocery store, cause that's scary. 
And I, I can't even tell how they look on me because I can't really see my true reflection. Okay, I kind of can. Do I look like Harry Potter realness here? Like, do, can I pull these off? <laughs> I don't know. I, it's like, they're like, did you guys ever do like driver's ed where you had to put on those like beer goggles and it like obstructed your vision, vision so you could feel what it was like to uh, have um, like your depth perception all off if you were to drive under the influence? I don't know. This is what, that's what they remind me of. That's so weird. I'm, I'm appreciative that they came wrapped in bubble wrap. That shows uh, like attention to detail and concern that they could have gotten broken in shipping. So congratulations on that. A plus for safe and securely packaging things. Then in here, they kind of just sent me an assortment of stuff. That, oh, okay. I'm kind of excited about this. Okay, so there's a little piece of little Halloween duct tape. I love that they kept it themed. And here's what the packaging looks like. So again, attention to detail. Not everything was just thrown in the bag, which is very much appreciated. Then we have Sega Chilton Searfoss Clifford Goodwin Lucid. This is a crew patch. And it says a little bit of about it on the back. I am very, like, ignorant when it comes to things like this. So if you know any further information about this, let me know in the description. Or let me know in the comments, I mean, not the description. But here it tells a little bit about it, I think. On the back, I'll have to read more in depth of that later. But it's a sticker. Let's see what else we have here. We have a little, I think this is one of the Simpson characters. I've never watched Simpsons. I'm not a fan of Simpsons, but this has my brother-in-law's name written all over it. He would love this. Um, if you are offended by the middle finger, uh, look away because I'm not going to blur this out, but you can see he's like a gangster dude and it is a pin. It actually has two pins with both of the backs included and in very good condition, so you can see right there. But he's he's like got a gun, and he's like flipping you off and stuff. I don't know. I, I'll probably give it to my brother-in-law because that's not really my thing. But we have this little bracelet that has these spikes on it, and it is pretty colored. I like the colors of that. I'm not sure if I'll ever wear this because it's not really, it's, it's, it's too edgy for me. <laughs> I'm more cutesy and kawaii and it's a little, it's got some spikes on there. So I don't know. That's totally my style, but the colors are cute. Then we have this red thing. <laughs> it's a blow up heart that says you are a QT. Thanks. And I'm, I just want to further inspect this. I don't see any lipstick marks or anything like that because you think when you get something like this in the mail someone's already put their gross mouth on this. That's a little bit concerning to me. It wasn't in the original packaging. It was just kind of in there like this. So I'm not really sure if I'm a fan of that so much. I don't know. I, I'm honestly probably not even going to blow this up because it's just Eh, not really my style, like I said. But that's okay. It was only 10 bucks, so I'm not going to complain too much. Okay, so we have this. This is kind of my style. This little choker. It is pink and velvety. So yeah, I can hang with this. It matches my hair. Okay, so you can see it's like a little, a little choker. That's actually cute. I'll probably wear this a little, maybe. Who knows? Maybe I'll attach like a little charm to it. Hmm, kind of cute. I like that. All right, then we have, this is questionable. I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be. Was this supposed to be like wrapped around the bag? I don't know. It's like a little leather rope thing that is tied into a pretty bow. Here we have like a tattoo choker, except it's big. So it's got, got large, I think. I think it's like, it's like a tattoo choker from like the 90s and stuff, except it has, it's larger than the ones back in the day where, oh yeah, see, oh, it actually came with two. Two? Oh, it's a bracelet. 
Okay, so it's got the necklace that is black and brown, and then it came up with the bracelet as well. And actually, I think I just dropped, oh, I think it came with rings too. Hold on, let me see. Are these tinier? Okay, I think this one's a bracelet, so you can see. Bracelet? Bracelet? Maybe? And then this one is a ring. So you don't just get the one, you get all these different ones. You can see it's a ring. And then again, the, another bracelet. So you could like share these with a friend or whatever. Not a fan of the colors. Like I said, if it was all black, that'd be great. But like the black and brown, not really a fan of. My favorite colors are pastel. So I don't know if I'm just being picky or what. And then this right here is a brand new, mind you, it is still sealed perfectly in the packaging it is a glamour glitter so it is uh, an all-over glitter i think not tested on animals uh beauty-treats.com beauty treats i think that's who it's by um oh yeah obviously look at the lid right there it says beauty treats just like that and it is just some pretty iridescent little glitter. I love using glitter like this. I have tons of different ones. There's one right here that I use today, but I love to just dot it a little bit right here uh, on top of my highlight and I'll like spray my face with like Fix Plus or something so that it has something to kind of stick to and I love popping it on the inner corner of my eyes as well. Always, 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 I'm just going to put this disclaimer in here because people tell me this all the time. If you're going to put glitter on or around your eyes, make sure it is cosmetic grade glitter because you do not want to possibly get craft glitter in your eyes and lose your sight. Nonetheless, I have heard horror stories. I've never had a bad experience myself, but around my eyes right here, I uh, only use cosmetic grade glitter. I will put gra craft glitter maybe like on my cheeks as highlight and stuff, um, but I will never put not cosmetic glitter around my eyes because unless it's like one little star here or there, it's not, I'm not like packing it on. And then the final thing in here is this little card with an envelope that is unused. So it's just a cute little, it says hound's tongue. Which is weird, I've heard of hound's tooth, like the print, like the hound's tooth pattern, but what's hound's tongue? What is that? What is that? Is that a brand? I'm not sure, but here's the little envelope, just some flowers on there, and the card. So, overall, how do I feel about this? How many items did I get, including the card, and eight for the bracelet? Am I missing anything? I don't think I'm missing anything. That's all, everything that I got. Um, there's a couple things in here that I'll probably keep. This choker. Oh, the choker. Duh, I forgot. The choker is another item. Um, but uh, the glasses are pretty nifty. Like, I'll, I'll probably keep these. Maybe let Alan try them on so he can get, like, tripped out from it. They're so weird. Like, I cannot practically wear these on a day-to-day -day basis, but they're fun for maybe, like, photos or something. And the choker I will definitely use. The pin I'll give to my brother-in-law, and everything else I'm probably... Oh, and the glitter. The glitter, hands down, I definitely will use. I think the favorite two things were the choker and the glitter, because I will definitely 100% use those. Everything else I'll probably re-gift, or hand down, or give to my mom, or somebody. But overall, 10 bucks for this glitter alone is pretty neat, because I've ordered the um, Shopwear Beauty glitter before the cosmetic glitter and this alone is like nine or ten dollars just for this little one so that alone you're getting at least a, a chunk of money right there for what you get so I'm not gonna complain too much I didn't get trash and everything was wrapped considerably well and packaged considerably well and they were very thoughtful to use bubble wrap when packaging the glasses and yeah, with that being said, I think I'm just going to go ahead and end this little video here. Uh, let me know if you yourself have ordered a mystery package off of eBay and what was inside. What was the worst thing you got? What was the best thing you got? Let me know in the comments down below. And with that being said, I will talk to you all in my next video. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right, bye!